good evening to all today we are going to discuss about the velocity triangle of centrifugal compressor in this video you will learn how to construct the velocity triangle for inlet condition and as well as outlet in outlet velocity triangle you will see uh, ideal case of uh, velocity triangle and if actual well, actual condition of the velocity triangle in actual case the slip factor is considered whereas in ideal case slip factor is not considered in case of uh, ideal case the velocity triangle is shown as dotted line in whereas for actual case it is shown as a solid line so i'm sure this video is going to be very interesting so please do keep watching until the end and subscribe my channel thank you so let's begin the discussion for construction of velocity triangle for centrifugal compression these are the velocity term used for the velocity triangle so inlet uh, velocity triangle is drawn at the inlet mean diameter and it has suffix as one in case of outlet velocity triangle it is suffix has two and for ideal case it is shown as two dash all the velocity triangles are uh, all the velocity terms are uh, in meter per second and blade angle is in degree the impeller main dimension d1h is inlet uh, impeller hub diameter or uh, root diameter at inlet d1 and is impeller inlet uh, mean diameter d1 is inlet me uh, d1m is inlet mean diameter d1 is inlet inlet tip diameter and d2 is a impeller outlet tip diameter and is a speed of impeller in rpm revolution per minute need to draw now inlet velocity triangle inlet uh, mean velocity triangle uh, so inlet mean absolute velocity c1 is shown as a c1 so draw inlet mean absolute velocity in the direction of igv angle that is inlet guide vane angle so theta 1 is inlet uh, igv angle from uh, with respect to axial and so c1 is drawn inlet uh, mean uh, impeller tip velocity u1 inlet mean inlet mean impeller tip velocity is dependent on a speed and inlet mean diameter and it has expression u1 is equal to pi d1 m into n upon 60 into 1000 and so draw inlet mean impeller velocity a starting point of inlet mean relative velocity in the direction of rotation impeller so you have to draw u1 from this starting point of c1 in the direction rotation of impeller inlet mean relative velocity we need to join the end point of u1 and end point of c1 this will give the inlet mean relative velocity that is c1 uh, v1 now inlet mean axial velocity ca1 in the axial component of c1 will ca1 will give the axial mean inlet axial mean velocity ca1 and tangential component of this in the direction of rotation that is cw1 is the inlet mean whirl velocity or inlet mean tangential velocity that is cw1 and so this is u1 so it has two component now now we need to draw the ideal outlet velocity where slip factor is not considered so we need to draw the uh, ideal outlet relative velocity that is v2 dash in the in the direction of impeller outlet blade angle beta 2 with respect to radial so you have to draw outlet velocity v2 dash now outlet uh, impeller tip velocity u2 is again dependent on the speed and diameter outlet diameter so it is a relation u2 is equal to pi d2 n upon 16 to 1000 and we have to draw the end point end point of v2 dash in the direction rotation of impeller that is u2 which is shown as ideal outlet absolute velocity c2 dash you have to join the starting point of v2 dash and end point of u2 this will give the ideal outlet absolute velocity c2 dash now ideal outlet axial velocity the tangential uh, axial component of c2 dash is ca2 and tangential component of ca2 
C2 dash is the ideal outlet lower velocity or tangential velocity that is CW2 dash. Now we need to draw the actual outlet velocity triangle that is with consideration of slip factor. Normally slip factor falls 0 0.85 to 0.9. So we have to draw the outlet impeller T velocity with considering the slip velocity. This is the slip velocity. This much amount is slip velocity. And then we have to draw the outlet impeller T velocity because there is a slip. So this point should will have some you know behind this ideal case by the slip velocity so this is drawn like this as a solid line now outlet relative velocity v2 because uh, the join the starting point of uh, v2 dash in the and the starting point of u2 this will give the outlet relative velocity v2 where this is considered as a slip factor. This U2 is, you have to connect U2, which has consideration of, which is drawn with consideration of slip factor. Outlet absolute velocity C2. Now join the starting point of V2 and end point of U2 with consideration of slip factor. This C2 will, C2 is the outlet absolute velocity. Now outlet XL velocity CA2, the, the XL component of C2 is the CA2, which is same as ideal case. And outlet whirl velocity CW2 is again tangential component of C2. We'll see this is a CW2. And theta is theta2 is uh, outlet uh, absolute uh, angle with respect to radial is on as theta 2. Now information about inlet velocity triangle. If you see the outlet velocity is same but inlet can be drawn in other way also. This is one way, this is another way. So both are same. So I'm sure that uh, you have enjoyed the this video for construction of velocity triangles. So thank you, thank you for watching.